Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally doing a very long overdue Bath & Body Works video on some of their newer fall collections that I haven't talked about yet. I'm usually very on top of these, sometimes early, but I'm slacking, so I need to go ahead and share my thoughts on these scents. I think I've been putting this off because I only had a couple new things to talk about, but I figured today we would also go over what is to come for fall. There's actually gonna be another floor set, Monday the 29th, I believe, which will have a couple of returning favorites as well, maybe a new scent, we'll see. So I figured we would go over that as well in today's video, so let's get started. Also, if you saw yesterday's video, you would know I did surprise change my hair it's a little drastic right now but it's super toned so it should fade out in a couple weeks and be like the perfect cool tone of blonde I just needed to change it up and try something different but let's go ahead and get into these new collections so this is going to be all body care today. So if you guys have been in your stores in the past week or so, you would see a new collection that they have that's up front. Um, this, I'm going to call it the Cozy Collection. I'm not sure what it's called, but there was a couple new scents and some returning favorites. So I wanted to go over my thoughts on these for you guys if you haven't picked them up yet or if you just kind of want to talk about fragrance because that's what I love here on the channel. We're going to start with Cozy Season. This is one of the new fragrances. So this is the packaging. It is like a light lavender lavender packaging. The notes here are soft lavender, golden honey, and creamy oak. When I smelled this in store, I instantly liked it, but I also thought it smelled really familiar. Something I like to do in my reviews is I like to compare Bath & Body Works scents to previous scents that they've had out. It just helps me, and I feel like it helps some of you guys. If you're a fan of one scent, you may like this, and so on. That's just how I do my reviews. I always like to compare things, but I think this is a gorgeous fragrance. You definitely get a really soft, pretty lavender. There's a little sugary note in there too, like the sweetness from the creamy oak and the honey. So it is very beautiful, but it does almost remind me a little bit of the Fireside Flurries from last holiday. That's what it kind of reminded me of in stores. But when I got home, I can tell it is a little bit different. This is a lot sweeter. This is more lavender based. This has more sugar in it. So they're not exactly the same. It's honestly almost a mix of, let's say, cozy Sunday morning mixed with the fireside flurries in a way to come up with a really pretty fragrance. So if you guys love lavender, if you're a fan of sweet lavender and you like these two, you'll definitely love the new cozy season. So I think it actually is different enough for me and I am enjoying this one a lot I will say but I don't think it's as good to me as Fireside Flurries is just because this one has more like marshmallow notes in it that makes it like ultra ultra sweet but this is kind of a more relaxed calm version of it so it definitely fits the name cozy season it does remind me of just cozying up snuggling on the couch or something so i do enjoy this one a lot i will say the next new scent we have in this collection is the pink suede i was unsure if this is something i would like based on the notes i wasn't like dying to get it but when i smelled it in store i actually really enjoyed it so this one actually has notes of blush berries velvet peonies and soft cotton so i was like oh is it gonna be too floral but as it turns out it's actually really sweet too it's cozy but also sweet at the same time you definitely get the berry notes in here and the florals and it has this softness when it dries down maybe a little bit powdery almost but there's something just so comforting about this. And I do like this one for fall because it does have, again, that cozy feeling. So this is like a totally new scent to me. It didn't really remind me of anything I had in my collection. Maybe the closest thing to it, um, just off the top of my head, maybe last year's Raspberry Chiffon. Is that the name of it? It was something like that, um, which was a very sweet raspberry. But this one has the added kind of floral notes in it and the softness of that cotton note in here. That makes it different but I would kind of put those almost on a similar level if you guys liked that one last year I think you would also really enjoy this so this is really fun and something new to me that I have been really enjoying so I do have it in the body cream and the spray now some of the returning ones we did have sweater weather also in this collection I'm not a big fan of that one I tried to get into it last year in the body care but I just can't do it it's too like cologne like for me it's too strong love the candle I don't think they're the same so I really wish they would reformulate honestly I don't know if any of you guys are like big fans of it let me know down below but 
I'd love to hear how many of you guys would like them to reformulate the sweater weather and how many of you guys like it just the way it is for the body care. This scent is back as well. This is Ivory Cashmere. This was new last year and they did bring it back for fall. I was happy to see it back because I really enjoyed this one. This one totally caught me by surprise last year. This is one of the most coziest scents so it fits right in with this cozy collection. This is so just every day. To me, it smells clean, but also very ladylike, very perfumey, very rich smelling, but it's a nice scent that can go with so many other things. It's such a nice layering scent with other perfumes. It has notes of fresh lakeside air, silver musk, and white amber. I love this one. I definitely have to be picking up a body cream. Oh, by the way, I'm so excited, but if you guys didn't know, you can now use the rewards loyalty program in all stores all locations now so you don't have to put in fake zip codes anymore so I was just thinking that I should pick up another body cream because I layer it with so many other scents in the fall um, and we can use our rewards in store now which is awesome so definitely sign up on the my bath and body works app and get your points get your rewards for free product we love to see it and I think they're gonna be sending a lot more coupons on there too so definitely sign up I know their prices are going up, but they're also giving us some more things back as well, which is nice. Now, I did talk about this new scent a little bit. I had like a little sneak peek. This is Midnight Amber Glow. And you guys know, I was obsessed with this in this little mini spray. This is what I was able to grab early. This is now available in all stores online as well. So I went in, I just grabbed stuff. Like I'm obsessed with this. I thought I was gonna like everything. So I just started loading up my basket here. Let's just talk the mist. This is probably my favorite in the collection. It has notes, let's see, of a smooth amber, caramel latte, and vanilla bourbon. And this smells so good. Oh my gosh. It's like my favorite mist of this fall. It smells like caramely, toasty, has a little mocha in there. It's so good. Not everyone loves this, but I'm a lover of it. It smells so similar to Replica's Coffee Break to me. Um, so I'm obsessed. I couldn't wait to get my hands on the rest of the body care. So I grabbed the body cream, but to my disappointment, this does not smell as good as the spray. I don't know if it's because they have a new formula, if these scents are lighter or what's happening. They added aloe in their creams. So, I don't know. I just feel like some of the creams seem a little bit lighter in scent since changing the product. I feel like it's a lot more almost powdery, a little bitter when I'm putting it on. Um, those more warm caramely latte notes come in a little later once it dries down a bit, but I, it just throws me off so much when I put this on the skin right away because I'm not, I don't love it as much. I feel like it's missing more of that sweetness that the spray has. So I'm not impressed with the cream. I know it does come in a like Glotion body butter. I hate the Glotions. They're so sparkly. So I'm not gonna buy that. Um, maybe the lotion is better. I don't know, but I'm just, I'm not, I don't think the cream smells as good. So if you're gonna get this fragrance, I would just get the mist personally. I think it smells the best there. I did also pick up the scrub, which I have not really tried. The scrub's kind of similar to the cream, maybe a little bit sweeter. I don't know why they're not translating the same to me. So I actually did not end up buying a full size spray yet of this because I'm waiting because I thought there was going to be a perfume, a full size perfume, but I haven't seen it yet. I did pick up the little perfume, which smells amazing too, just like the fragrance mist. These just last a little longer on the skin. So I did grab the mini perfume, but I'm waiting to see if there's a full size. So if you guys know, is this coming in a full size? Because I really need it. Otherwise, I'm going to go have to buy some more fragrance mist of it. But how disappointing that the scents don't match up in all lines. I don't know. I'm just kind of let down by that because that is literally one of my favorite smells of fall right now. And that spray. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Next up, I ended up buying this warm vanilla sugar whipped body butter that they had available. Um, we haven't had a body butter in this in I don't know how long. So I wanted to go ahead and pick this up. Now they did repackage warm vanilla sugar. So I did try out the cream. Love the consistency, but this I would not buy, okay? This is lighter than the body cream. This is lighter in scent than the spray, which is already light in general. I can barely get any scent out of this body butter, which is so weird to me because usually the butters are strong. The body cream for me is okay. The spray is okay, but this is just not it. So definitely don't buy this body butter. I'm just not getting any scent from it 
whatsoever. The lightest vanilla scent that just does not remind me at all of warm vanilla sugar. So those are the ones that you can currently get right now. I wanna go ahead and talk about some new scents coming and some returning favorites. So we have a new floor set on Monday and it's actually gonna have some classics. This is technically their fall two. I don't know if they're gonna have a fall three. Usually they do, I think, for Thanksgiving. Um, but the fall stuff is just so, it seems so early this year with the collections. Um, so anyways, I wanted to mention that they are gonna have Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin coming back for fall two. It should be in stores August 29th. It is gonna be in the faceted packaging. I know so many of you guys love that one. I kinda wanna get it in like a mini if they have it available because it's not one that I want to wear all the time. It's a little much for me at times. They also have White Pumpkin and Chai already coming out too, which seems early for that one. That one is like the epitome of fall. It's also very pumpkin-y, but I like it better than I do the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin because um, it does have kind of the sweet and spicy notes and it does remind me of a chai, but that's like a pumpkin spice scent to me is the white pumpkin in chai and that's been out for a few years now a lot of people love it next we have the best of fall collection editions which goes in with the original fall release it has that cute c bakery packaging they're gonna have again returning strawberry pound cake i was wondering if this was coming back this always comes back each year usually spring fall we never really know which one but it's such a classic I'm surprised they don't add it just to their signature collection, but it seems like they don't ever add any of those gourmands into that line for some reason, but I just don't know why they don't sell this year round. But you guys already know Strawberry Pound Cake. It literally smells like the name a sweet strawberry dessert. It's one of my favorites, so I am glad that they do bring it back every year. So that one's coming back in the cute packaging. And you guys will be so excited to know, I know I am, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles is also going to be in this collection. So you should be able to see this in stores Monday. This was my favorite of fall last year. I literally stocked up so much that I don't even need any new ones, but I'll probably grab a new cream just in case to see how it goes. Maybe compare this new formula to last year's. I don't know what the deal is with the new body creams. The notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. This is so edible. I definitely get a waffly scent to it, but it's not syrupy in any way. I don't think it smells like maple syrup personally, but it's very brown sugar. I get like almost caramely notes in here, something very toasty and yummy. That's what pumpkin pecan waffles is to me, and it's a must-have if you guys want to smell like a baked good. So I'm so happy that this one is returning. Unfortunately, though, the coconut candy apple, it doesn't look like that one is on the list yet. I haven't seen it sneak peek, so I don't know if that one is going to be coming from last year. I thought that one was pretty popular, but maybe it just didn't sell as well. They are coming out with a new signature scent as well, which when I say the signature scent, it's like one of their scents that they come out with everything in. Like there's going to be a candle, they'll be a perfume they add it in like on the wall and they keep it around longer than some of the other collections um, this one I thought was gonna come out Monday too but it looks like it's not until the 9th September 9 which makes sense because they just added the midnight amber glow not too long ago but I'm really curious about trying this one it's called fall in bloom it's gonna have notes of juicy plum wild blooms and velvet moss I'm so curious about this one with the plum notes in there I feel like we haven't had a plum scent in a while so I can't wait to smell this one I feel like I'm really going to enjoy this so that should be coming in a couple weeks and then I also saw a sneak peek that Sweet Whiskey was also coming back in the Faceted Collection, so I don't know if this one will be in stores on Monday as well. But, oh my gosh, if you guys know me, you know I love this scent. It's almost a little musky. I'm obsessed with it. This one is so good to me. It has notes of Golden Amber, Vanilla Infused Whiskey, and Sweet Apple Blossom. Uh, I'm, I'm obsessed with this one. It's such a nice one for fall and winter, so I'm really happy to see that this one is also coming back. So that's kind of a little overview here and some reviews on some new stuff and what I'm excited to, for to come back. So I don't know if I will have a new video with the, the sense on Monday just because um, most of them are returning. I kind of gave my thoughts here. I'm definitely waiting to see if they launch some new candles. There's a collection I'm looking at that has like an apple macchiato candle and I think a blueberry cotton candy or something like that. That's sounds amazing so I can't wait to get my hands on those I'm sure they'll come out Monday but they probably won't be on sale so I had to wait for a good candle sale for those but that is gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed let me know what new scents you're excited for what returning ones you can't wait to get your hands on and I will see you guys in my next one bye guys